I grew up on a farm in Pittsburgh in the middle of an apple orchard. My father built our house in the middle of the apple orchard. And so here I am in apple producing country in Adams County and I just absolutely love it. The barn was built in 1867 by the Chamberlain family. In the 1930s to the 1960s, the Musselman family owned this farm. And whenever we purchased it in 2001, it was in relatively good condition. The first thing we did was we replaced the floor and the roof to just stabilize it and protect the structure. We did some special events for the community. As the events occurred, we would do a little bit of work to just improve the property. And eventually we started getting requests from folks to use the barn for special events. We've used all local artisans to do the work here, and we utilized a lot of the materials that were on hand in the property in the process of doing that. Some of the old flooring was actually used to make some of the tables upstairs. They've done extraordinary work here restoring the barn. It's also been important to me to support the local economy and to make sure that whatever we do here is going back into the local economy. So using the local artisans, the local chefs, and the weddings and the farm-to-table dinners, we base a lot of the dinners on the food that's grown in our garden. But then we also source from local farms, such as Retland Farm. Having the local food served at the functions that we have here, that's just been a really important aspect of what we've done. And I just want to continue to focus on that as we grow. Barns in Adams County are so, so important to our community. It's very hard to picture what the landscape of Adams County would look like without our barns. They represent our cultural heritage, historical heritage, and we really think that it's important for people to preserve them. These buildings can tell you a lot about the people who actually live there, and I think that's what's nice about house and barn preservation. It, it brings the people back to life. It brings the buildings alive. When you go in the first time and you walk through, it's just a house or it's just a barn. But once you study it, once you research it, and you learn all about the lives of the people who, who live there and farm there and work there, it brings the buildings to life. I have seen some very, very interesting uses for barns in Adams County. People have turned them into restaurants, um, they've turned them into art studios, somebody turned one into a veterinary office. There's a, there's a lot of creative uses out there. It's important that our rural landscape stays the same, and we really, really, really are trying very hard to bring focus and attention to the importance of barn preservation in Adams County. For hundreds and hundreds of years, this is how this area has looked, and we'd like to keep it that way. Ever since we moved here, I felt that we were the stewards of this property. We're so fortunate to live here. I just feel very blessed to be able to get up every morning and just be here. I just absolutely love Adams County, and partly because it reminds me of my home in Pittsburgh. But I love the landscape here. I love the orchards and I love the vineyards and I love it whenever they're in bloom in the springtime. It's just awesome to me. I love the people here. That's, that's really what makes it special. I'm Jane Short and this is Authentic Adams County.